The Roz and Mocha Show. Kiss 92.5. Dude, congratulations. This is the fun movie we've been waiting for. Oh, cool. Thanks. I had such a fun time watching this, and you guys must have had such a blast putting it together. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, the shooting of this movie was a blast. Um, I feel like I got a front row seat at all these <laughs> funny performances, so it was great. What are you hoping that people get out of this movie? Because there's so many possibilities of yeah. morals. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm hoping they get possible morals. Um, no, it's. Uh, I hope they get a laugh first and foremost. Yeah, I think they will. Um, but there's, I think, there's relatable stories for different stages of lives and different experiences you're going through. Um, but first and foremost, it's a funny movie. Well, it seems that you know, with a uh, lot of the comedies are out now, there's there's like a a hole that was filled by your movie that makes perfect sense. You know, there's been party movies and drinking movies. Yeah. This one, this is stag, it yeah. makes perfect sense. And the things that can go wrong, and I think the guys that go and see this are going to be like, yeah, man, that has, that's well, right. See, this, I think it's a much more relatable film than, yeah. than, I mean, Hangover was hilarious. That's the word I was looking for, relatable. Yeah. So The Hangover was hilarious, but there, like, we don't have, you know, tigers in the bathroom or... Yeah. It's, it's a relatable movie that is that shows you how it really is funny. Because, I mean, you know, the reality is... You go to a stag or a party expecting it's going to be a blowout. By the way, I've never been to one. Okay, but it doesn't even have to be Now I have. But exactly. But it could <laughs> even just be any kind of party and expecting this blowout, and there's like eight people there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But there's still a lot of humor in that. So uh, I think it's much more relatable. What did, did anything go wrong while filming this? Because there's so many possibilities of things that could have gone horribly wrong. Uh, not would. No. <laughs> we actually had uh, not a lot of time to shoot. We had 15 days to shoot it. That's and it. That's it. That's very short for people watching this. That's really short for a film. It is, yeah. And we actually shot it in 14 days. So we carved yeah. a day off of that. So because nothing went wrong. Where um, did you film then? All in Toronto. Nice. Yep. Um, with actually, the one thing that was, didn't go wrong. Like, there's certain parts where I'm like, I think that's Toronto. And there's some that are obvious, but I didn't. It was all yeah, there. That's amazing. All in Toronto, yeah. 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 Okay, so, and yeah. how much fun was it to film in the city of Toronto, though? It was great because, I mean, I got to pick things like Jilly's. Uh, mm -hmm. Which is, a, for those that don't know, it's a, a, a strip club that is in a, in a nice changing area, but it's not a very nice strip club. It's actually known for being seedy, know, not one of the good ones. <laughs> um, and uh, so being able to sort of show those landmarks was a lot of fun. Now, was it, I guess there are moments where you, because you watch this movie and everyone's just joking around and fun. How did you actually um, stop and actually do the lines without screwing up? And was there any chance for improv? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. So uh, you can't have a cast like this and not give them some room to play. Um, there was definitely a lot of laughs. John Doerr is, and all the Pat Thornton, Jefferson Brown, they're all hilarious. Yeah. So, um, but they also are really good actors and committed to the characters. So they're able to get what we needed and have fun at the same time. And I bet you now they're waiting for Stag too, right? Like at the end of this at the rap party, like, dude, please call me for the next one. Yeah, there's been talk <laughs> of doing a sequel. Uh, <laughs> so um, we'll see what happens. Nice. And have, well, has there been positive feedback for people who have it's seen this? It's been great, this? yeah. yeah. It's, I've had really great reviews. Um, we did the festival run. We had uh, nine nominations at the LA Comedy Film Festival. Brilliant. We won best, uh, the Award of Excellence and Best Ensemble. We won a Best of the Festival in, in Britain in, uh, in the UK. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been, it's, the feedback's been really great. Now, is there any truth to anything that happened in this movie? When, you know, when putting this movie together, is there yeah. any like real life sure. stories that are implemented totally. into this? Of course. Do go on. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, I mean, I think there's, I wrote it, so I think there's a little bit of me in, in all of these characters. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's some of the pranks, like the pineapple prank actually yes. was a real thing that happened. No! It was, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I was witness to the picture afterwards. I didn't see the actual prank happen. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, one character has a child who talks a lot, as okay. do I. Yeah. Um, and uh, so yeah, I think there's a bit of me and all these guys. And, you, and I'm going to add, it's, you know, I've watched several, like, tons of movies filmed in Canada and stuff yeah. like that. And you can really tell, like, yeah. that's a Canadian movie. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. No. But when watching yours, it was really well done. Like, you Thank watch you. it going, this looks like like a high-budget, amazing feature film. Yeah. Thank so you. That's, that's, nice. so that, that's, yeah. Been, that's been a consistent feedback, which I really appreciate. Um, it, there's no, and you're right. There's nothing wrong with saying it's a Canadian film, but this doesn't feel like a Canadian film. You could put it in any yeah. market, I think, would work well. Yeah, and you're right. There really isn't anything ever wrong to say that, but you do know when you watch yes. things, sometimes you're like, you know, it, for, I don't know if it's a filter called Canada that you yeah, put on the lens. <laughs> I don't know, but I know what you're saying. That's awesome. Well, yeah. congratulations. Great. This was such a good film. Thank I you. can't wait for people to see this because I 
right. really think this is going to be one of those ones that everyone's going to enjoy. Great. Thank you very cool. much. Cool. Thanks so much. The Roz and Mocha Show. Kiss. 92.5.